Hey everyone, welcome back to Sales Handy's Cole Email Masterclass. As always, I'm Sanjana, a Cole emailing expert, ready to instruct you. So in lesson two, part two, we will talk about the technical setup and I promise you it won't be boring. I know the technical setup can feel a little tedious, but without a proper technical setup, your email deliverability is at risk. Even if you have everything in place, like the best subject line, the best email content, the best follow-up cycle, but if you fail to focus on the technical aspects, your outreach campaigns will underperform and not yield the desired results you desire. So in this lesson, we will cover three main topics. The first is buying domains and email accounts. The second is purchasing a cold email outreach software for your campaigns. And the third one is how you can ensure your email deliverability setup. All right, so let's begin. Buying domains and email accounts are foundational to a successful cold email outreach. And to make the most of it, it is recommended that you buy secondary domains and email accounts. A single domain and an email account can do more harm than good especially when you're looking to send highly successful emails that have a reasonable open and reply rate. Your email deliverability is the most important reason to have secondary domains and email accounts. This is because some email providers may flag your emails as spam if they come from a single domain or email account. And if too many of your emails are flagged as spam, your primary domain or account may get blacklisted. If you get blacklisted, that is a whole different story, which we will cover more in depth in lesson three. So after understanding why you need secondary domains and email accounts, you need to ask yourself this question. How many prospects do I want to reach out to? Because the number of prospects will define the number of emails you want to send. If you're going to reach out to more prospects, you will need more email accounts and domains. So here is a simple calculation you can do to determine the amount of email accounts you require and the amount of domains you require. To determine the number of email accounts you need, all you need to do is simply take the number of emails you want to send, divide that by 50, and you will get the number of email accounts that you require. So for the number of domains you require, all you need to do is take the number of email accounts you require, divide that by five, and that will give you the number of domains that you need. Here are a few things to keep in mind while doing this calculation. The first is that it is recommended to send 50 emails per email account in a day for higher email deliverability. The second thing to remember is that it is a good practice to maintain a three is to two ratio while sending your outreach. 30 emails are for your cold outreach and 20 emails are for your email warmup. Email warmup is an other important deliverability factor, which we will discuss in detail in lesson three. The third thing to remember is that by following this practice, you can have better email deliverability as the replies from each outreach will convey to your ESPs that you are an authentic sender and not a spammer. The last thing to remember is that you can connect three to five email accounts per domain to keep your domain's reputation up. So now that you know how to calculate how many email accounts you need and how many domains you need, let's look at how buying additional domains can increase your deliverability and return on investment. So from the table provided on screen, we can clearly see that if we try to send the same number of emails, 10,000 in our case, with more number of emails per day and less number of domains per day, the deliverability standards, which are the open rates and reply rates, suffer a lot. See the difference between the revenue generated through 40 domains in comparison with the revenue generated through only two domains. There is a huge difference. So now you can go ahead and purchase your domains and email accounts. Make sure you purchase from quality sites that provide better support and services. Here are a few things to remember before purchasing. The first thing to remember is that you should ensure that your domain is unique and stands out from your competitors. Think of your domain as your brand identity online. You should pick a name that matches your brand value and is easy to remember. The next thing is that you should look for domains that protect your data. Make sure you use trustworthy registrars that won't misuse your data. 
Some registrars sell your data to third-party websites, so beware of such activities. The third thing to remember is that you should check the email service provider's sending limit to know if it aligns well with your needs. Each ESP has a different sending limit. You must ensure you're picking a provider that offers the number of emails you want to send. The last and final thing to remember is that you should look for ESPs that support important authentications like SPF and DKIM. These are essential protocols to prove that you are a genuine sender and to keep your accounts safe from spammers. So here are a few suggestions from our end for domains and email accounts. So if you want to purchase a domain, we recommend using GoDaddy or Google. And for a domain extension, we recommend .com, .net, and .co. And for the most popular ESPs, we recommend Google, Microsoft, and Zoho. Now let's move on to the second part of this lesson, which is purchasing a cold email outreach software. Purchasing a cold email outreach tool is always a good option for scaling and bringing in recurring leads. These tools are designed especially for sending quality cold emails and making the revenue-facing team more productive in their approach. So a good and valuable cold emailing tool will help you. The first one is that it will help you automate your outreach to save your precious time. The tool takes away from the manual efforts needed to do the same activity over and over again. You can easily automate your outreach process and focus on other productive tasks. The second way it can help you is by bringing in more personalizing elements to your campaign. Personalized emails are the key to success in any cold email you send. A survey says that 63% of prospects never reply to a non-personalized email. A well-advanced cold emailing tool will provide you with hyper-personalizing features to make sure your outreach is more focused and more conversational. The last way a cold emailing tool can help you is that it comes with power-packed features that make your outreach scalable, predictable, and repeatable. Our recommendation for a cold emailing tool is Sales Handy. Sales Handy is a cold email outreach tool that helps professionals like you to run successful cold email outreach campaigns. With the use of Sales Handy, you can create your own automated email sequences, which are also known as follow-ups, add prospects, schedule them in a particular time zone, easily send them, and analyze the performance of a specific sequence. And all of this can be done from one single dashboard. Now let's move on to the email deliverability setup. I can say that this is easily one of the most important factors of cold emailing. So what exactly is email deliverability? Why is there such a huge hubbub from all cold emailing experts about email deliverability? Email deliverability is the ability of your email to be delivered to the primary inbox of your recipient. I know you're probably wondering, this sounds like such an easy task, but no. It takes work to make your email durability happen because a new email account is most likely to have low email durability. And if you have not authenticated the account or followed the best email durability practices before shooting emails, there is a high chance that your email durability will suffer exponentially. By the way, just wanted to mention, even if you have an old email account, your email durability can still suffer. And we will explore more on that in lesson three. Now let's move on to some of the most important email durability records and things to consider to make your email deliverability better. So SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are three things called as DNS records, and they were created to boost your email security. Custom tracking domain and email warmup are ways to make your email deliverability better. So let's start with SPF. What is SPF? SPF, short for Sender Policy Framework, is an authentication that helps protect your domain from spammers or against spoofing. SPF helps to attest your identity to the servers. The second one, DKIM, which is short for Domain Keys Identified Mail. This is a signature-based authentication. This protocol transmits your message using a digital signature to ensure that an authorized domain has sent the email. The third one, which is DMARC, which is short for Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. This authentication depends if your email is being authenticated with SPF and DKIM. 
So the fourth thing, which is custom tracking domain meant to boost your email durability, a custom tracking domain is your unique domain that can track clicks on emails or opens. The fifth one, also another way to boost your email durability, email warm-up, is a process of making your email account ready to send many emails. You can start by sending a small number of emails and then ramp them up. So this was a very short summary of the technical authentications. In lesson three, we will cover all of these concepts in depth so you understand how you can boost your email durability to the max. So this concludes part two of lesson two. In part three, we will tell you how you can write a high converting cold email. So see you in lesson two, part three.